Hey there, it's David H. Lawrence, the 17th. I heard from a student the other day who got an email from a client she was doing an audiobook for. And the client was like, I'd like to increase the quality of my book. So could you please do your recording at 48,000 sample rate, 48,000 hertz? I've heard that's better. Um, you know, this is a is a, a wonderful opportunity to say this is why you hold the hand of your clients when you're doing audiobooks so they don't make mistakes like this. Um, 48,000 hertz as a sampling rate is used for video and for films, but not for audiobooks. Audiobooks are always sampled at 44,100 uh, hertz or samples. And what this means basically is how many samples per second, how many discrete pieces of data per second sound is broken up into and described in that data. So for example, um, one second of sound at 44,100 is cut up into 44,100 individual slices, and each one of those slices is assigned a value. And then when it's played back, all of those things, all of those slices that were recorded are stuck together and played back, and that's why you get really great sound. 48,000 is more samples, but it causes some issues uh, with other pieces of software that work on your sound, especially in MP3. So we want to stick with 44,100. So having said that, I'm happy to talk to you about using Audacity and changing the sample rate. What you're seeing on the screen is just a real quick track that I recorded. And if you'll notice in the lower left-hand corner of the recording window, it says the project rate is 44,100. Now I can drop that menu down that is the uh, sample rate for this particular track, and I can change it to 48,000 for the future, but it's not going to change this track's, uh, this track's sample rate. That's still going to be 44,100. So I'm going to put that back so I don't forget. Um, if I wanted to change this track sample rate and cut it up into more slices, I would then go up to the tracks menu and choose the resample uh, option and then uh, this too has a drop down menu and I change that to 48,000 and then what happens is it just basically goes in and resamples everything. So, uh, but the project rate you'll note is still 44,100. Just this track has been resampled. That's one way. Now, if overall you decide you're going to be doing nothing but video work and you want to go ahead and change the sample rate for all of your projects, not just the new tracks that are that are coming then you want to set it overall in Audacity's preferences. And in preferences, there's a pane called quality. And right here, you see the same drop down menu. So you can choose 48,000. You can choose whatever you want. It goes very high. 96,000 is for high def sound. Uh, but we want to keep things at 44,100. That's really what we want to do. Because that's what everybody uses. That's what everybody should be using. And that's what uh, you want to push back a little bit on your uh, client and say, yeah, I know it sounds like it's really good, but for audiobooks, you want to keep it at 44,100. That's how the industry works. And really be firm about that because you can screw up your production process if you decide to start changing sampling rates in the middle of things or even at the beginning of things because Audible, for example, expects things to be sampled at 44,100. And by the way, that's CD quality, right? If you play any CD, any CD you've gotten, it is sampled, those little silver discs, you remember those? Uh, they're sampled at 44,100, um, which means a three and a half minute song would have about 9.2 million pieces of data that were recorded digitally and then are reconstituted to play that three and a half minutes worth of music. So it's very high quality. Uh, audio files would poo-poo that, but, you know, audiobooks aren't audio file quality audio anyway. So there you go. That's how to change it, but don't change it. So any comments on that? Was that confusing to you? Did you understand that? Uh, did I if it sufficiently scare you away from doing it unless you're doing video or film? I hope so. Um, but that's how to change it because somebody asked the question. Uh, if you'd like to join my list and get uh, different uh, you know, little things that help you with your career like this, tech tips, uh, or productivity tips, or all of the other things that we do, pop over to vo2gogo.com if you're there already. Look for a subscribe button somewhere below this video. Uh, and if you want to get notified when the latest video comes out, uh, or want to see the latest video that is out now, go ahead and click on that frame and YouTube will play it for you. I'm David H. Lawrence, the 17th. I so appreciate you watching, and I will talk to you tomorrow. <laughs>